A reminder, March is reading month and Paul Gross recently visited with a school. Yes, visited with a school. Um, he did it safely and it looked like everybody had such a good time, Paul. You know, these are different times this year, but we have to still do this the right way. We blow it out of the water when it's reading month. And so I was at uh, Mrs. Grillo's class in uh, Forest Elementary School, Farmington Hills. I read my favorite book to the kids, Snowflake Bentley. It's actually a true historical story with a very special message. And take a look, uh, we did this by Zoom and the kids just love the book. And when I asked them about that message, I probably got the most profound responses from these kids from that I've ever gotten from any class anywhere. And so just a great time with the kids. Uh, really appreciate the opportunity. In fact, I'll be reading to the kindergartners a different book next week at the same school. But uh, in any event, March is reading month. So guys, we'll send it back to you and you can tell us more about how the teachers can get better involved. I just love that picture too. Everybody was totally into it. So they it really like were. You had a great discussion following the book as well. Thank you, Paul, for sharing. And if you are a teacher, have your class take our reading month challenge. The top two teachers with the most books read by the end of the month win $500 to help buy school supplies, all courtesy of our friends over at the Sam Bernstein Law Firm. And we'd like your family to be part of our book club for kids. Upload pictures and videos on clickondetroit.com. Their class, your kids class, could win a virtual visit from a member of the Local 4 team. One winner will get a virtual science show from Paul Gross and Brandon for the class. And you yes. know, Rhonda, it's been, this Thursday will be a year since I read to my daughter's class, and then two days later, we went into lockdown. I know. I can't even <laughs> believe it's been that long. I know, I think I got to one school last year before we shut things down, so definitely miss the opportunities to go into the schools and see the kids, but we'll yep. be back next year, and in the meantime, we'll do it the way we can now.